Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper left hand corner we have Dim starting as the blue Terran 6 o'clock location. We have Monk starting as the yellow Protoss. I'm actually not familiar with either of these guys. So we'll have to see. Uh, I think they might be, if I vaguely recall, I think they might be new guys in the CSL community. This is going to be on Powerbond, by the way. Just so you guys know the format, I believe it is best of one for the opening matches. It might be best of one for the winners matches because I've only seen single games in the winners match and then best of three in the losers bracket and best of three in the final match which makes uh, sense for the exit if you guys aren't familiar with powerbond natural expansion wide choke it's kind of interesting because it's like one of those stereotypical ish maps i really want this to get infested um at some point versus but there are just not a lot of zergs out there i really but i wow i really want to see that but one problem with this map i will say for versus terran which isn't here, or, uh, wait, uh, sorry, yeah, we do have Terran here, derp, is just look how wide open the middle of this map is, and you can see where vultures can just have an absolute field day. Absolute field day scooting across this map. Big open spaces to do assaults like that. Regardless, still some drops. Th Three-player isometric, lots of minerals. A little bit atypical, I guess. Trying to think what's... Trying to think if there's anything I can say for the... As far as like, okay, this is atypical. I think the biggest interesting bit is that you got a mineral only, but the mineral only is actually pretty exposed from multiple angles. Like you do have three attack points over the mineral only. Also for Zerg, you can see where there's a uh, pretty strong attack angles or whenever you have like a ledge like this, it, ten it can be very, very strong for Zerg, Mutilus, Karas. Anyway, zooming back in, zoom, zoom, zoom. Gateway starter at the six o'clock location. We do have a quick refinery from Dim, so I'm expecting some sort of factory opener, potentially. We'll see how many SCV get dedicated and for how long. Sending out our initial scout, I assume, to top right to check out things as they stand. He does have that defensive barracks and supply depot, three SCV. Mining that gas away. The simulator there, cybernetic score, morphing in two gate. Opener here for Monk to start things off. So wants to get some of that early Dragoon pressure on his opponent. Which I actually think is wise, considering how open this map is. Single SCV being left. So it looks like this potentially is just going to be factory to expand. We'll have to see. But yeah, I think it's extremely important for Protoss to get large Dragoon numbers outside their opponent's base as rapidly as possible. To mitigate that option for the mid-game Vulture Harass. Dim posturing that Marine forward. It looks like Monk sending out that probe scout top right first as well. So both players are going to be a little bit late on that scout. The Dragoons shouldn't be there in time to stop the SEV from getting the information they're looking for. At the very least, looks like Dim has discovered that there is in fact not an Nexus here. So information enough. And that should lead him to maybe drop a machine shot before anything else. We'll see. This initial, so able to confirm the two gates, still no range cycling. But that SCV having some trouble, and looks like it gets wiped out otherwise. So the two Dragoons are out. That would require a bunker or a siege tank to retake it. Looks like we do have a command center being built on the high ground. So Dim does want to go for that expansion, but realizes he needs to be uh, under the protective wing. Especially with the double Dragoon early to make it happen. Monk now scouting out towards the 3 o'clock location. Another SCV cycling back out. That SCV actually might be able to get an eyeful of information. But I would not be shocked if Monk stops around the 4 or 5 Dragoon count. When he feels kind of like he can sufficiently deal with vultures as they're making the way out. SCV taking some shots along the way. Explodes mid-flight. Probe trying to check its way up. Finds the three Marines there. It's just going to return to home base. There's the machine shop initial tank. Interestingly... No, okay, there's siege check. I was about to say, I was expecting siege check a little bit. Other than that, four dragoons making their way forward. And Monk, now that he's got those dragoons out in space, if he can get them towards that natural expansion. Right now, actually holding them short. I think he was wondering if he's going up against a multiple factory build since he didn't have that information. But now, starting to sidle forward a little bit, expecting units at any moment. But yeah, I'm looking for him to create a nice little Dragoon ring along that edge. A pylon to the south as well, so wondering if it might be Vulture Drop. 
or something along those lines. The probe sneaking back in, again checking that natural expansion. At least at this stage, he's going to see that floating command center, a turret to respect potential DT play because Dim hasn't gotten a lot of information either. But this probe actually, if it wanders up, might be able to create a bit of a delay. Yeah, all it, all it has to do is do that. Going to drop a pylon for good measure. Probe gets wiped out. That should force a cancellation there. The Dragoons, are they going to... Oh man, this is maybe a mistake. We'll see how it plays out. Mixing up. Nice blockade from Dim, drawing the units back, even dropping a turret on the front. Now the Dragoon's trying to get it. And I take it back. I was expecting the misfire to hurt, but the Dragoon's sufficient to take out both siege tanks. Now two Dragoons have busted into the main. One Dragoon on the low ground, although he's engaging battle SCVs. And this is a huge disruption to Dim's early economy, although he's got a pretty sizable worker lead. The two Dragoons now backing out. One just a shot away. The second one forcing the SCVs off the line. One problem for Monk is where, yeah, he's getting SCV kills. He still hasn't dropped the Nexus yet behind this. Finally dropping that Nexus and getting to work. These two Dragoons do not have... Well, they might have sufficient health to kill this tank depending on which one gets shot first. And if they can rejoin their friend down here. This Dragoon making its way up, getting caught on that turret. More Zealots now making their way forward. And Dim having to retreat from the natural expansion, reblockading that ramp and needs to siege that tank up and have the blockade... But, oof, some more SCVs going to lose their lives for the effort. Monk, all of a sudden, with a worker lead, getting all sorts of damage done early. Two Dragoons wiped out that Zealot, and the Dragoon now going to back off. Dim, theoretically, should be able to recover pretty rapidly from this, because he does have two command center. He's got the double worker production over Monk, but the loss of siege tanks early was huge. We do have a Citadel of a Dune. Up. Do we have a Templar Archives anywhere as of yet? Templar Archives being built at the natural expansion, maybe to dodge. And look at this! Monk also dropping a Nexus in the upper left-hand corner near his opponent. So Dim, already in a defensive posture, setting up three siege tanks, dropping on the low ground. I'm wondering if Monk is hoping... that let's talk about action-packed on this one. Probe's now getting to work at the, uh, the natural expansion. Dark Templar in production. Turrets are being rebuilt. I'm actually a little bit shocked that there was an attempt to go Dark Templar as a follow-up. I guess it's just Protoss things. I'm going to say it. Monk is kind of doing like the stereotypical... He, he is feeling the stereotype of Protoss Ape in many regards here. It needs to be a little bit careful that he doesn't drive that Vulture to the north where it can detect that hidden Nexus being built. But now that Vulture in No Man's Land can plant some mines. Plus one weapons being... Constructed Photon Cannon on the low ground. I'm wondering if Dim was building those High Templar defensively as well. Natural Expansion Gas also being constructed. Might be able to find that Pylon. And are you kidding me? Dropping three turrets... So, three turrets. Three Pylons to blockade the upper right. And is going to try to go up a quick four bases. With still no robotics facility. Hoping that Dim is... This is something that Terran do have problems with when they have that initial aggression, feel like, ah, oh, no, whatever. They, they'll they do the standard Terran thing and shell up and just not show any aggression whatsoever. Here we might see... Yeah, it looks like we're going to see a dropship, I assume, of vultures, potentially in the main, which could be devastating, actually, because Monk right here, as he's going for... First of all, this Nexus would be exposed. Also, that dropship has a very high likelihood of making the way to the north. Big mine hit on the Zealots. And Monk, because he's gone for all of these expansions all over the place, he's actually pretty far behind in supply and just doesn't have a lot of latent troops anywhere. Also going to go Stargate, just grabbing all the tech behind this as well. Dark Templar trying to sneak in, immediately being sent to the spirit realm right there. Vulture might be able to find that pylon, whereas the uh, there's the dropship... Scooping up the vultures. Unfortunately for Dim, it's going to head to the south rather than checking the north. And the counter problem, High Templar for Monk, he's just not going to have... Though I don't know that it'll matter, potentially. Because yes, maybe there's some damage here at the natural. But he could even send the probes all the way up to the exterior two bases. And maybe still be economically fine. I don't know though. We'll see how this plays out. Arbiter Tribunal being dropped, trying to hide away from Comsat that just isn't coming. Vultures now dropping. Monk unawares. 
And he doesn't have a Dragoon to his name. Mines being planted. Archon being morphed. Two Zealots to try to defend the ramp. Zealots do not do well. Dark Our hero, Dark Templar, out getting an incredible mind drag into two of the Vultures, which is going to sit and able to splot the rest. Photon Cannon being morphed. The Zealot expending its life. But now an Archon, which just coincidentally floats above mines, diving in. One Vulture remains, and that Photon Cannon looks like it might end up online. So I want to say nice defense, but that uh, it feels less like nice defense and more like accidentally fumbling into success there for Monk. I just want to be honest. Probe's resaturating, 55 to 40, four bases up, but two of them not fully saturated. Mine's still in the base. Initial Arbiter being constructed. We need to see a gateway flood here. From Monk, because actually Dim not in the worst situation. So comsatting, seeing the... Actually, I'm not sure where he comsatted there, but he's going for a factory flood to follow this up. And Monk needs a factory flood himself in order to... And actually, never mind. I think Dim realizing the pure lack of troops might win this just on Monk's pure greed. So starting to charge forward, Monk now has a Dragoon and an Archon to deal with all of the siege tanks. Maybe he comsatted uh, these bases out here, grabbing his third, but he can go ahead and grab that third and attack into his opponent just because of how few troops are out here. Splorch with what's left. Single Dragoon to the north. It's not going to last very long. Dark Templar made it out. Oh, that's some huge mind drags. And oh my goodness. Disaster for Dim as... Two Dark Temple are able to wipe out Infinity Siege Tanks right there. The Temple Archives at least will lose its life. But still, Dim, with more Siege Tanks and more reinforcements coming, Arbiter is there, but there are missile turrets being constructed on site, plus there's some Compsat to follow this up. So Monk going to end up losing this simply because he just doesn't have the... Oh, uh, well, he's got some gateways now, but he just doesn't have the gateway production to keep up with Dim, if Dim just continually reinforces. And continues with the, the commsats. Vulture is now in that natural expansion, dropping absolutely everything. I think Dim has to be wondering, like, why is there not a GG yet? Not knowing about these additional bases out in space. Dark Templar trying to make their way across. Going to eat a flurry of mines. Getting a lot of mine drags, actually. Dragoon wiped out as well. Probes not protected by this detection now. And more turrets constructed on the front. That's going to make Dark Templar trying to sneak in. Going to make their job even more challenging. So in a wild one, I'm going to have to say that, I yeah, I think Dim's got this locked now. Up 30 supply. Granted, you do have these the X-Factor base in the upper right-hand corner, but... Stargate's unpowered. Additional pylons trying to be produced to deal with it. More emergency Dark Templar trying to make their way out. The Vulture is now starting to stream into the main. Unit production has mostly been halted for Monk. Still without, yeah, a lot of attack troops. Is looking to maybe do, well, he's doing a drag, trying to do a mind drag on top of the vultures on the high ground, but not getting a lot out of that. Dim saturated now on third base, on three bases, has another entire battalion of troops that he can go ahead and move. And I'm just a little bit surprised despite how, what is this? That is about... Okay. This is fun. Okay. So we got two more Nexuses being dropped in the upper right for Monk. And he's doing this to try to quickly rebuild in the upper right-hand corner. Get back up to... Is he dropping more? So he wants to get that probe saturation right back up. Just rely on Dim to be too slow in the main. And just saturate his bases rapidly and quickly rebuild despite losing his initial main and natural expansion. So it looked like it was going to be a rapid one. It looks like a high Templar drop also at the natural, able to clear out a lot of SCVs. So Monk, showing some fighting spirit right here, and I don't mean the map. Just doing some, like, this, this game would make certain players in the community rage quit. Just quit the game for a while. All right. Two machine shops, a lot of factories. 
Vultures and whatnot scrambling back towards the main, maybe worried about follow-up drops. The dropship actually, if it has eyes open, should see the shuttle that's moving out with even more probes to take more bases. Stargate in construction, Templar archives being redropped, so Monk is just happy to rebuild top right. He's actually even in supply after all of this. Yeah, gonna drop off and try to just construct as Dim thinks he's got his opponent locked into two. This is why it's a game of hidden information, and what kills me is his Monk isn't, like, macroing up or doing anything else. He's just grabbing every base on the map. 74, so is actually a little bit oversaturated on workers right now on bases that are completely exposed all over the place. Dim needs to drop some commsats. I don't know that he's... Yeah, so he commsatted this area. Or no, that was from the initial scout, so he hasn't checked anything out otherwise. So he's still in the dark. And he might be very, very confused as to what his opponent's up to. Okay, well, where do the commsats land? So he commsats into the main. That's already clear. Sees the Arbiter fleeing out. Is able to even get a couple shots on the gateway overhead. But doesn't know about this base that's coming online. And certainly doesn't know. Just now realizes, okay. There's a lot upper right that he's got to take care of. As he's scooting in. To take this base and losing. And Monk has just got to play the delay game right now. Is he going to go for a recall? No, he's just moving this Arbiter all the way up. Did he research recall? I would be absolutely shocked if this turned into a recall. I think he's just trying to freak Dim out to try to get him to retreat back or at least delay. So Arbiter taken care of. It's turning into... I mean, it was already a wild one, but what... I don't know what to say about this. Rest of the troops attacking up. Dim just needs to focus on his macro and should be able to close this out. Dark Templar being wiped out. I guess the Dark Templar, what that has done is, is that just drained a lot of Dim's commsats where he hasn't really checked exterior bases. More Dark Templar are being constructed. Psystorm on the siege tanks that are remaining. These tanks honestly should uh, rejoin the battle. A lot of gateways. Well, four gateways. What does this count? Six. Oh, that's five, six, seven. So we got seven gateways up, eight gateways. Out in space. These two won't survive all that much longer, I hope. Dark Templar looks like they've cleaned out the rest of the attack forces on the ground and just, yeah, Dim not paying attention now. Dark Templar getting bonus kills. This is a Terran's nightmare. This, this match right here is seriously, it's a Protoss's wet dream and it is a Terran's, like, like, this is when Terran sleeps and they have nightmares. This is exactly what they look like. This is the exact... This is like Apocalypse Now. Clearly the universe is ruled by a, a cruel god. Terran. Game. Dark Templar flooding in to the third. Everything going wrong for Dim right now. Monk is actually up on supply. Oversaturated on probes. Monk actually might be able to salvage his bane with reinforcements. What is this match? Dark Templar able to clear out a lot of SCVs there. But able to reestablish. Is he going to move up and find the additional bases though? So this base still remains hidden. This base still remains hidden. Two additional gateways there. Monk trying to grab the natural in the upper right. Sent attack troops to resave his nexus and gateways at the 6 o'clock. Right now he is scattered everywhere. I want to make a metaphor to a movie of some kind where this is like the rebellion versus something, but I don't... It's escaping me as to what this is. Rather than trying to salvage that top right ba hand base, he wants to try to force Dim back by attacking with a skirmish force right there, moving the rest of his attack forces across. The upgrades have been on point at least for Dim, so he's keeping the upgrades there. Has wiped out the natural expansion. Now starting to make his way up to the second main. Keep in mind the initial main is still here at the 6 o'clock. Third base having trouble as Dark Templar hanging out in the SCV lines. The siege tank is going to get wiped out. And it looks like that third... Oh, nice defense matrix. Clutch defense matrix. 
potentially a game-winning defense matrix. To keep this third up and running, a problem for Dim now is he needs to start thinking about grabbing an additional base. As his main, his main looks thin, his natural expansion isn't going to last that much longer. And all of the other bases have started to get taken out. Although Dim now making his way up to upper right. Monk doing Monk things and grabbing. He needs to change his name to Additional Nexus because he's getting another one at the 3 o'clock. Expanding everywhere. Over abundance of probes to work with. Clutch Stasis. So it looks like he's going to at least be able to repel this wave. He has a lot of mines exterior to this base, but Monk with a sizable bank, a supply lead, although much of that is in probes. Solid EMP to catch some of those troops. These tanks could still be dangerous out here. And he's re-grabbing his original natural expansion. I, wow. I'm not sure what to say about this. I feel like this replay needs to be given to Artosis or someone to just glory and revel in it. Because this is about, like, this is everything Terrans complain about right here in a match. Everything they complain about. Dim re regrouping, looking for yet another attack. I love it, though. I love it. 28 supply lead, although still a lot of that in probes. Not a lot of energy left on these two Arbiters, plus a big EMP lands on both of them. Detection's right there. Upgrade advantage isn't there for Dim, though. Probes trying to flee. Maybe get to the 3 o'clock. A Vulture finds that 3 o'clock location. Probes are dying, actually, which might be... An advantage for Monk at this stage. Starting to reproduce here at the 6 o'clock location. Some, a single probe makes it to the 3 o'clock. I don't know that 3 o'clock is going to last very long. So now this is turning into a game that's taxing Dim's ability to wipe out bases. And I would expect to, any other player, I would say this was the GG moment. But I don't know. Monk... Seems like a guy who's going to fight to the to the last bitter expansion here. Siege tank not able to clear out the 3 o'clock. Arbiter is overhead, but troops dying as they spawn. I missed this. Counterattack of Dark Templar out of nowhere, able to clear out that 3 o'clock, and all of a sudden Dim is, no, is soon to be no longer mining. Needs to re-grab that base. So Dim able to wipe out the upper right. Missed this expansion. Finally finds this base. Which is nearly mined out. So if Dim decides to, to take that, he's going to be sorely disappointed as far as the resources that it will yield. Supply counts are even. And the worker count, now after a lot of these bases getting wiped out, Looking fairly close. Siege tank still in the upper right-hand corner. The rally point looks like it's actually out of the base. So there's nothing really to... It looks like some desperation troops being constructed. Nothing really to save this upper left-hand corner. And that's going to be a lot of probes lost for Monk. Maybe the turning point. But Monk still has this nexus at the 3 o'clock location. Which he ferried... He shuttled probes out to. This is like an old-school BGH match right here. Two gateways here, rebuilding photon cannons at the natural, building some production right there. Not a lot of minerals left at the main. Still has this original cybernetic score at the very least. Looks like he was able to clear out the attack forces, but not halt the attack top left. Command center is yet to be reconstructed for Dim, so Monk is going to have a bit of a reprieve here. Where if he can gather up his units, I don't know that he has a robotics facility to detect these mines. So if he can uh, get some troops back, maybe he can get a concentrated attack force and start getting something happening. He's got a lot of Arbiters up. But the Goliaths are starting to grow in number to be able to take them out. Unfortunately, yeah, it, look, yeah, it looks like a lot of the army is not cohesive. Engaging Dim heads up right here. Takes out the science vessel. Good stasis on the rear two siege tanks, but four Dragoons is not going to be enough for everything that Dim is fielding. Dim expanding bottom left, taking a, a a somewhat exposed location, taking a note out of Monk's book here. 
Not gonna bother expanding top left. A probe is actually just waiting to regrab that Nexus. Just waiting. But both players hurting for resources right now somehow. So three o'clock base, yeah, doesn't have the best saturation. This base is still humming. Two Dark Templar right there. Dim finally getting some more resources up and running again. Comps heading over the wall. This is insane. That's all I have to say. The cannon, I do not, is that should not be sufficient, but reinforcements last second for Monk sweeping into the three o'clock. I love Hasu League. Looks like some other units engaging that exposed command center, forcing a liftoff once again, cutting into Dim's economy. So the attack trooping has been cleared out by Monk at the three o'clock. He is a huge supply lead all of a sudden. Check what the upgrades are at. Level two, level two. Actually, upgrade lead for a monk right now. And he's starting to get a dangerous. He's playing Protoss like Zerg almost. He's starting to get a co uh, cohesive attack force. And if he attacks and wipes out this base that is just flush with SCV, that might be it. So moving in, only two siege tanks on defense right now. Make that. Zero, and Dim going to GG. Monk takes it in a wild game one. I, wow. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> I feel like I need to plaster the title of this. It's like every, ty every Terran's nightmare. Thank you for the follow pipe cruise, by the way. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. We'll move on to game two. If I was Dim, I would cheese Monk so hard in the follow in the follow up if, if they meet each other again. But sorry, it was best of one. But holy cow! Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.